That is, I know two things about him only. The first is, he has never been in the penitentiary. <laughs> the second is, I don't know why. <laughs> but I should think no introduction would be necessary after all this time. And yet, not two hours ago, I was mistaken for Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I've been accused of many things in my time, but fried chicken was never one of them. <laughs> and just the other day, someone asked if I was Hal Holbrook. <laughs> Who the hell is Hal Holbrook? <laughs> I joined the local militia, not because of any strong beliefs I had in one direction or the other, but because that is what everyone did. There were no orders from headquarters because the war had not yet reached us. So every unit was responsible for developing its own strategy. Ours was retreat. <laughs> By the time the war did reach us, we'd become experts at it. Now, I had considered doing a reading from that book this evening. But then I remembered it was in the public domain, so I would derive no profit from promoting it. <laughs> so I thought maybe this would be the perfect opportunity to share with you a new work. Now, I'm not talking about something that was deemed too controversial for the age and therefore published posthumously. I'm talking about something completely new. Something no one has ever seen or heard of discovered it myself just this morning. <laughs> I hope it's mine. <laughs> what is freedom? When we are young school children, we are told that we are the luckiest people on earth. It is so we are told because in our country, under God, we have those three unspeakably precious things. Freedom of speech, Freedom of conscience. And the prudence never to practice either one. 